Is math time dragging down your homeschool? Well, if you're like a lot of families, math is a struggle. And in today's curriculum review, I'm going to share with you a math program that is exciting and fun, even for your upper level math students. So stick around. Welcome to Doing Life Deliberately. If you're new here, my name is Trisha, and on this channel, I make videos about homeschool, life skills, and we even share some of our family adventures. So if you enjoy today's video, please give us a thumbs up, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can catch more of our videos. Well, today I'm going to share with you a little bit about one of our favorite math curriculums for homeschool, teaching textbooks. We've been using teaching textbooks for several years now, and our background is that we started with Saxon Math. Saxon Math was really great, and I will post a link to a curriculum review that I did of it several years ago. But the problem that we found with Saxon Math was that it's super intense. It's a lot of work, and when you start adding multiple grade levels and multiple students, it is just overwhelming, at least in my opinion, to keep up with. So I wanted something that was going to be fun and engaging for the kids. I wanted something that was going to help me with lesson planning and grading and even the teaching. It's just not my strong point. So when I discovered teaching textbooks, it seemed like a great fit and it really has been for us for several years. Now when we started, teaching textbooks was only in its 2.0 version, which was CD-ROMs that you used on your computer. Then they went to 3.0, which was web-based, and now they've gone to 4.0, which is web-based and something that you have to load onto your computer, a software. So we've been through many versions, but we've stuck with it because it's a great curriculum and that has maintained through every updated version. So what I'm gonna do today is kind of walk you through the process of how to interact with teaching textbooks. I'll give you some of the pros and cons of teaching textbooks and hopefully that'll help you make a decision as to whether or not you want to try it out. And if you are interested in giving teaching textbooks a try, you can do it for free, which is super awesome. So let's get started. If you go to the very, very bottom of the home screen of teaching textbooks, on the left hand side on the very bottom it says placement. You can click on that and it will take you to the placement test page. And there you'll find all the different levels of teaching textbooks and you can click on those. You can print off those placement tests and by grading that it will help you know what level your child should be in. So take the placement test and that will help you figure out where to properly place your children. Now the levels of teaching textbooks do not necessarily line up with grade levels. So taking that assessment or that placement test is going to be really important so that you get your kids into the right levels. So after you head to teaching textbooks and take the assessment, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to purchase the level that's appropriate for your student. What you're going to do is you'll go on there, you'll make the purchase off of their website, and they will send you a link to get started. Once you have that link, you can download the program onto your computer. Once you get teaching textbooks downloaded onto the computer that your student is going to use, you, mom and dad, have to make a decision. Are you going to check their work from that computer or do you want to download teaching textbooks onto the computer that you use so that you don't have to share with your student? So once you have it downloaded onto your computer, then you can go into your child's account and they can begin to customize teaching textbooks how they want to. And this is one of the fun parts of teaching textbooks. On teaching textbooks, you can customize it how you want it. Your kids get to choose like different little avatars that will cheer them on and encourage them when they get things wrong. They can choose different wallpaper and they can switch it up throughout the year too if they get bored. But these little avatar guys will give them hints and will after every problem will either say yes you did it 
or they will say, nope, that's not it, and just kind of give them a little bit of encouragement. If your students are visual learners or if they really just work a little bit better with having something to write down, you do have the option of printing out the lesson pages. And I've done that with some of my students at various times. Sometimes it's just nice to have a break from the computer, to be honest. So you can print off each lesson Everything that they're taught through the computer-based lesson is going to be in the workbook version. So you are able to print those off. You can also print off the solution pages if you would like to have those accessible to you. So you have some different options. It's very flexible and adaptable to your needs as a family. And because this is a self-paced program, your kids can do as many lessons as they want to. So they are not regulated to only being able to do one a day or five a week or whatever. They can kind of go at their own pace and they can work ahead if they want to. So it's really nice that if your students are really motivated and enjoy math, then they can work through that level quickly and then you can purchase the next level and go on to that. Teaching textbooks is very adaptable that way. If you look at the grade book, you can see the lessons and quizzes or tests that they have been assigned. And then you will see a little box with a C right next to it if the lesson's been completed. Now, if you move to the right in the different columns, you can see how many problems there were in the lesson. You can see how many problems they completed. You can see how many they got correct and you'll have a grade assigned to that. I love that you can kind of see where they're at at a glance. Teaching textbooks makes it very easy for you to see if they have completed an entire lesson. And that's changed over the years, so they've been really great about listening to the feedback of their customers and then making those changes. Okay, so now that you've had a glimpse of what teaching textbooks looks like and how it functions, let me share a little bit with you about what I love about teaching textbooks and a couple of the things that I don't love so much. Okay, so what I really, 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 really love about teaching textbooks is that it corrects their work. When you have multiple students in homeschool, it is so easy to get overwhelmed with the amount of correcting that you have to do, especially when it comes to math. So I love, love, love that teaching textbooks does it for me. I also love that it keeps records of everything that the kids have done. So instead of me having to write down in a book or save tons of papers for record keeping, I can simply print off at the end of the school year all of their grade book and it'll be in like two or three pages and I didn't have to do any of that. So that is huge to me. Like I said, especially with having multiple kids in homeschool, just a huge time saver. So thank you, Teaching Textbooks. I love that this program is colorful and engaging. I love that it encourages the students when they're doing well. Um, I love that it kind of gives some encouragement when they're struggling a little bit. And I love that there's hints that they don't just expect them to understand it all right after hearing the lesson, but that throughout their lesson, they'll receive little hints to get them going in the right direction as they're absorbing a new concept. I also really love that little box with the C in it that tells me just at a glance if they've completed the lesson and then I can look two or three columns over and see what was the numerical grade that they got. You know, did they hit that standard that we've created for our family or do I need to go back, delete some things and have them make those corrections? Um, it's just very, very simple and user friendly. The other thing that I really love about teaching textbooks is that in a subject matter where I don't feel especially strong, I mean, I know that I'm working in an area of weakness, that this program teaches the kids for me. Everyone feels a little bit different about math. Everyone's comfort level is different with math. Some people are really great until you get into pre-algebra and algebra. Others are going to feel comfortable all the way through calculus, but maybe they still don't have the time to teach and plan and correct and record keep and all the things that come with having math. So teaching textbooks is just a huge blessing 
in that it does all those areas that are so time consuming and can be kind of stressful if you feel strongly that you're working in an area of weakness when it comes to math. So I love teaching textbooks for that reason. Really, I don't have a lot of complaints when it comes to teaching textbooks. With 4.0, the one thing I would say as a mom that I'm not super thrilled about is that in the current format that they have where you have to download it onto your computer, I have had to download a separate program for pre-algebra, a separate program for geometry, a separate program for algebra, and a separate program for math seven. And it just takes up a lot of room on the desktop. But teaching textbooks has had to adapt a little bit because with Adobe Flash Player going away this past December, they had to come up with a solution as to how they were going to function and this is how they came up with it. The plus side of this format is that now students can do their math assignments without having to be on the internet. So we don't have to be connected to the internet and have Wi-Fi in order for them to be able to do their math. Which I really actually do like. It's just kind of at the sacrifice of me having to load all four of those different programs on my computer. The alternative to that is that I simply correct their work on each of their own computers. I just don't prefer that either. I would rather do it from my own computer instead of getting onto theirs. So there's some give and take. No curriculum is going to be perfect. Outside of that, I've really loved teaching textbooks. Throughout all the versions, I feel like it stood the test of time. It's really quality material and will really serve your family well when it comes to teaching, record keeping, correcting, and all of those things that can make math kind of a drag. Well, thank you so much for joining me today for this curriculum review of Teaching Textbooks 4.0. I would love to hear from you. If you have used teaching textbooks in the past, let me know your thoughts about it, the things you like, the things you dislike. And if you have any questions about homeschool in general, things that you would like to see videos on, we would love to hear from you. So please put those down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.